Hoy queremos eh, enfatizar el estudio y la creatividad aproximado a la construcción del movimiento y pensamiento. Que no hay mejor persona para esto que Willy Baptista. Pues si vámonos con un cál cálido aplauso. Today we wanted to emphasize scholarship and creative approaches to movement building and we thought of no better person to speak than Willie Baptist. Please welcome Mr. Willie Baptist. Every movement, every effort to resolve a social problem in terms of a social movement, every movement starts out with the development of leaders and, and consolidation of leaders or identifying people who are prepared to be committed, clear and competent and connected to the struggles that can help pull together this mass of people that are bound to go into motion to bring this thing to some kind of successful conclusion. Leadership is the foundation of the development movement. All of history suggests this. Not just American history, world history. You look at any movement, it always began with this effort to, to identify people who are prepared to make a commitment of leadership. Do you know what a leader is? We went over this yesterday. We had a class yesterday. Uh, and I'm going to do this again for you guys, for the ones that went through this exercise. I want, I want to define this question of leadership. Because a lot of discussion about leadership and what a leader is is being had right now. And since it's so pivotal to building organization and building social movement, I want to make sure that we're clear on, on this question of what is a leader. What is a leader? One first. All right. Let me, let me. All right. I'm going to ask you Is a leader, is someone good looking like me? No. <laughs> <laughs> is, is a leader someone that's not wearing nice clothes and can articulate and lay out the issue? No. Okay. Then what is a leader? I want you to indulge me for a minute. I'm going to. Use your imagination, because I know all y'all got imagination, especially when you're hungry. <laughs> Imagine that every one of us is going on a camping trip. Can you see us? We're going into a dark forest on this camping trip. It's late at night, and there's lions and tigers and bears. Now we happen, on, happen upon a great spot where we can set up the fire and then camp. And we all are very tired and then we decide to go to sleep. Now while we're asleep, a grizzly bear happens upon our encampment. And this grizzly bear got blood running down his cheeks. This grizzly bear is hungry. This grizzly bear smells meat. Guess who's the meat? <laughs> Now, the first one of us, a number of us, who wakes up is the leader. Y'all hear me? Yeah. The first one that wakes up is the leader. Why? Because they can make an analysis of the problem and put forth a solution. Wake up, go this way, not that way. Y'all hear me? Yeah. The first one that wakes up is a leader. And a leader is someone who describes and put forth solution to problem. If you have a solution to my problem, then you're my leader. If I have a solution, if I don't have a solution to your problem, and I'm good looking and I can talk this good talk, but I have no relevance to your problem, I'm not a leader. A leader is someone who developed the ability to make an assessment of a problem and put forth a solution. People hear me? Yes, sir. This is so crucial right now because we can't get people who are committed to developing those kinds of skills as leaders, then we're not going to succeed. And every one of you, the fact that you're here in this room, says that you have the potential of becoming leaders. We all have to see ourselves as being leaders because we are among the people who are first awake and we are what woke up. We're waking up. The fact that we're here says that we're waking up. That is an indispensable quality of leadership. 
But that's something we have to really understand. 